Go. Well, I uh, know that you're all trapped at home, and uh, the circumstances here are we're going to try to teach you jewelry through the cyberspace. I don't know if that's possible. I never thought it was possible. But uh, what I can do is tell you what you need to do right away. The first thing I want you to do is download the program SketchUp from the Internet. Uh, this program is free. It's, I'd like you, to, whatever platform you're using, whether it's uh, IBM or Macintosh, it doesn't make any difference, but make sure you download the right version if you don't already have this program. So whether you have an IBM laptop or a Mac, make sure you're downloading the right version. The right version is 8 point something. I think it's 8.1. When you go to the site, I'll put a link on this website so that you can get to it right away. Download uh, the program. Do not download SketchUp Pro because it's a trial version and you ha eventually have to pay for it. You can only use it two weeks and then you have to pay for it. I want you, when you get the program, to immediately to go under View and when you get to View, open up a large tool set. It says large tool set open that up and it'll become a little window on the screen of tools, about 20 tools to use this program. You're going to learn what each tool does while you're home, if you're uh, doing this home. This is homework. So learn to use each tool and then I will send you things to copy or try to copy by using specific tools. And then you'll send me back your homework showing me that you're, you're accomplished with using this program. So that's the way this is going to work. Today I'm going to show you the jewelry bench very fast. And uh, the, your first assignment is to download SketchUp, open the uh, large tool set, and then go tool by tool. How many tools are there? There's 20 tools in there. And any tool that you're not sure of the use of, you simply type the name of the tool into YouTube, and, like how to use the curve tool. And then you'll see a video showing you how to use the curve tool so you can discover the whole program and that's where you'll get your help. There's also a help menu built in that's very, very helpful. But uh, YouTube also has many, many videos on SketchUp. It's a great program. It's great for jewelry planning. It's great for architecture. It's, it's great for planning and anybody making anything. So it, it, it will help you uh, pre-visualize whatever you want to make and then send me uh, email me your uh, solutions, okay? So you'll go to uh, my Haiku page, find, look at the information that's there, and uh, then you'll respond to the project that I set up for you, okay? All right, let's look at the workbench right now, okay? This is the workbench that the kids will be introduced to tomorrow. Tomorrow will be uh, Tuesday here. And it, first of all, the most important thing is the gas on the workbench and you notice there's a red pipe and a green pipe and please always uh, it doesn't make any difference what order at this point where you turn the gas on so you can turn both uh, gases on like that this is the torch I'll introduce this to you a little bit later and uh, the green or blue will be uh, oxygen and then the red don't get too close and then the red will be a gas Okay, and the rule on the torch is gas on first and ga gas off first. Gas on first, gas off first. You can't do it any other way. If you do it any other way, the torch will explode right in your hand. So there's a, certainly a measure of safety that you should be very conscious about. We'll go over this with you when you get back to class, all right? Let's look at the workbench. You have uh, flux and solder provided for you. You have a light, which we will ask you to always turn on. There's a heat surface on your workbench. Do you want to move back a little bit so they can see the whole bench now? All right, there's a heat surface here. There's a water bowl here for soldering, okay? All the work on a bench like this is done on the bench bin. So when you sit down at this bench, uh, you don't work over here like it was your dinner plate. You work over here on the bench bin. All the work is centered around the bench bin, filing and sawing. So you're sawing like that at the bench pin. The reason the stools are down low is to put you exactly at the right height. There's also a metal block on the bench and uh, I'm going to go over the tools on one side. On the right side of the bench you have a mallet. This is not a hammer. We call this a mallet, a wooden mallet. And then you have a hammer on your bench on your right side. And then on the left side of the bench you have a uh, jewelry saw. Here it is. This is the one of the most fun tools that you'll use in this class. And you also have a ring stick. 
And this is especially when you're working on a ring. So all your filing will be done on a stick. You never work on a ring bar, steel bar. You only work on a stick. And remember, all your work happens on the bench pin in this class. Okay? You also have a variety of pliers. There's, uh, there's four pliers here. This is a, a, a round nose pliers. These pliers are very dirty, so this kid didn't take care of them very well. This is a needle nose pliers, which you'll be using in my class. These are jewelry pliers. They have no teeth inside the jaws, so they're made for handling uh, precious metals. They don't mark up the metal at all, okay, if you're careful. And then there's a flat jaw pliers and uh, a diagonal cutters, okay? You'll keep your work stored in the drawer. We have lockable boxes like this. Your name will be on this. We'll put a new tag on here for you. And you'll keep your work locked up in the drawer. In the drawer, there's also a file set that looks like that. These are needle files for filing. And, and a, a Chinese shears that looks like this for cutting sheet metal. Very, very handy. Okay? You also have a, a big, um, we call this a broad file in your drawer, brand new one. And on the bench, you'll have another kind of file called a half round file that's on your bench. Uh, we'll be expecting that you remember the names of these tools. Okay, you'll have a lighter on the bench for lighting the gas. And you'll also have a brush for applying solder and a scriber to scribe on silver. Okay, you're, you're equipped the same way a goldsmith is equipped in Bangkok. And this is your basic workbench. <coughs> this class has a cap on it of 22 kids. So there's 22 workbenches here. And uh, you're going to really enjoy the class and have a lot of fun when you get back here. Right now, download SketchUp, and then I'll start sending you things that I designed in SketchUp, and I want you to copy them and see if you can do it using the tools in the program. So it requires a knowledge of tools, and I'll give you some explanation on a haiku. And you'll be brought right up to speed in class when you come back.